Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose and today there's drama. Uh, drama in the knife community. And in a way I've been called out, but not really. Um, but everybody's kind of doing it. And I'm sure people want to know my two cents on things. Or maybe not if you don't. Well, I'm sorry for wasting your time. That being said, um, there's two characters and more possible quote victims i don't know but basically the main culprits of this drama are a guy named super steel steve and slicey dicey uh they're two youtube channels focused on on knife stuff um related to blade steel and reviewing knives and all that jazz so um it's part of the knife community and basically um the drama is well let's start with the characters are the people involved and why I a lot of us feel obligated because we kind of got called out to at least share our opinion and that goes with Super Steel Steve. Um he's a YouTuber, does a lot of like steel comparisons and um stuff. I'm not too familiar with his channel. I've seen a couple of his videos. Um you know, he's consistent. I will say he does have a really sharp thumbnail game like the thumbnails he makes for his his videos are pretty pretty legit so it's very impressed with that but as far as the, the dude goes i saw his kind of initial one of his initial call-up videos i think he's made like three or four videos now about this issue um yeah he's he's intense uh i'll try to keep this short he's intense he's brash he's comes across as kind of like a rager um you know, I don't know him personally. All I can do is make my opinions based off the observations and his behaviors. Um, yeah, he seems kind of like a rager, kind of like a bro. I don't know. Um, that being said, <laughs> I mean, his delivery basically sucks. He's very, he's a person you, regardless of what the situation is, he's always going to yell, it seems. But it doesn't, you know, take away from the point he's trying to make. Okay, so yes, he probably sucks at, at delivering you know, the information in a, in a very smooth and eloquent way. It's not a strong suit, but um, his points he's made are very valid and it's definitely concerning. And he's definitely the type of guy that if he sees something that's not cool, he'll call it out. Um, and that's, I think, the reason why he's such a big player in this situation is because uh, people were telling him things and he uh started realizing that it was happening to enough people to the point where he had to call slicey dice out on the situation um and the situation is basically he found out that um in a couple of different ways slicey dicey has been ripping people off now i don't know if those are 100 percent true I don't know the people who've been affected by this. I personally haven't been affected by this. This is all going on, the information he's sharing. Um, but if that's the case, then that's not cool. And supposedly there was times where people won giveaways and Slicey Dicey supposedly never sent the knives to those winners. or And then he would sell the knives later to other people making a profit. Or he would um, sell a knife and then not send the knife out. And uh, I think, too, he was trying to build a website and people supposedly um, donated money to that and the website has yet to be built. So in a way, he's just profiting off that. And then uh, uh, another situation is that um, he was asking people to write for an online uh, knife magazine and he promised them uh, money for their articles and they were never paid. So those are the allegations. I'm not sure if all of them are true or if any of them are true, but I, from what I've heard and seen so far, it sounds like at least some of it is true, especially since Slicey Dicey has made an apology video saying, if I did you wrong, please contact him and he'll try to do what's right. Now, as far as my relationship with Slicey Dicey, I've talked with him a little bit. He's always been you know, nice to me. I've always had a decent relationship with him. No beef with him. Just like I have no beef with uh, Super Steel Steve. Um, but just because you're a nice guy doesn't mean you can't screw up or you can't kind of be a jerk and try to rip someone off. So, you know, if this is all real and all these situations are, you know, fact, then Slicey Dicey screwed up. 
he shouldn't have been ripping people off and he needs to do what's right and and try to compensate those people back give them the money back give them the refund send them the knives and from his apology whether you think it's sincere or not he said he's going to do that all i can say is i hope he follows through um i think too maybe this situation got out of control because people weren't necessarily calling him out in the beginning when they weren't getting their knives or their product so um as much as steve comes off brash thank you steve for you know bringing this issue out um slicey dicey you know i i don't think you're a bad dude um you might have screwed up you might have made a really big mistake so hopefully you can make that right and hopefully things can go back uh, to a way where we can trust each other and we can deliver on our, our promises and our obligations and that we can keep the community upstanding. So that's my message. Thanks, everyone, for watching this. If it doesn't affect you in any way, sorry for wasting your time on that, guys. Just be real, be honest, and uh, be cordial uh, on that. Peace, and I'll see you outside.